Um, this poem is named 2ET by Robert Frost. ET being the initials of one of Robert Frost's really good friends, Edward Thomas. Um, in this poem, he mainly talks about how his friend Edward died in World War I fighting for the um, British Army in France. Uh, so throughout the poem, he's talking about how he was a soldier, but he was also a poet. And in this poem, the meaning's basically on the surface more than of a hitting meaning because he wants it to be like almost as like a letter to him but he wants to please him with his words as he did when he was alive yeah the there's not many like metaphors for different things in here it's more like it states like i slumbered with your poems on my breast like that clearly states like he's like sleeping um he fell asleep reading the poems and spread open as I dropped them half read through like he fell, he fell asleep reading them and maybe he, like he misses him and that's what makes him fall asleep um and also the next line says like dove wings on a figure on a tomb like that so that it's not just describing how the papers fell but it's also saying on a figure on a tomb it's clearly saying like it's what's left of him like it's what is left of his like on his grave um and to see if in a dream they brought of you. So he he's hoping to dream of him. Like he really misses him. He wants him to be there and dreaming is like the closest thing that he's gonna get to that. Um, and he states many places in the poem that he was a soldier and he was killed at war. He says first soldier and then poet and then both. Um, so it, it says that he was a soldier and then he developed his poetic um, his like, like, love of poetry and, I, and then he became a soldier like in the fourth stanza he talks about um, he says you went to meet the shells embrace of fire on Vimy Ridge and when you fell that day the war seemed over more for you than me but now for me than you the other way saying that he lost one of his really good friends just way too soon like he didn't really get to say goodbye to him because it says he goes to meet the shells embrace of fire, meaning that he's gonna die, and he died on Easter day of that year, it was 1917, and Vimy Ridge is the place where his death took place. It was the first battle of World War I that he uh, died in. And then in the next stanza, he goes into talking about the people that killed him. Um, the foe thrust back unsafe beyond the Rhine, meaning um, the German soldiers retreating into the Rhineland. So um, when they finally lost, like he mourned the death of one of his really good friends. Yeah, this poem is very little. It's very like, there is an instance that happened that this is clearly in reaction to. It's from Robert Frost's life. Um, it's not like a way of, that he views the world or like a, a theory. It's an actual like thing and it's his personal feelings towards a specific person. Um, and it's very, that's reflected in the poem because the poem is very specific about how he feels about the, his friend and how he misses him. Um, and he says at the last line, and see you pleased once more with words of mine. He wants to speak to him. He wants to like see his smile. He wants him to be happy. Like to they see used to him. write poetry together. So yeah. he was he would want his friend Thomas to like be pleased with his words one more time. Meaning this is a letter towards him. And uh, Robert Frost doesn't use many um, metaphors or similes. One simile is in the first stanza that says, like dove wings on a figure on a tomb. A tomb meaning his uh, friend's tomb that uh, he's laid upon to rest in. So the dove wings represent how um, he was sleeping with his poems on his breast, his friend's poems that he wrote. And uh, how he became a soldier and then a poet. And then he was a soldier poet and he died. And he was the only one of his race to be able to do that. And also, um, Frost shows that he feels that things are, were left unfinished between them because he says, I meant you meant that nothing should remain unsaid between us, brother, and this remained. So he's saying that they told each other everything, but 
and this remain means that there still was something that he hadn't told him that he wanted to tell him he didn't get to say his final goodbyes um he feels yeah, I, like left like out that. because yeah. he wasn't able to like say goodbye to his friend or say what was needed to be said before they finally parted one last time yep so that's all bro and that's 2et okay.